Hello and welcome to Technical Skills YouTube channel. This is Shwakat Ali. This is a new video of Chat App series. So in the previous video, we have successfully read the post from the Firebase database. As you can see here in the emulator, there are many posts are available. These posts are fetched from the Firebase database. So in this video, we will calculate over time ago. As you can see here on the text view, this is simple date and time. So we will compare the current date and time with the old date and time that we have stored on the Firebase database. Finally, we will calculate the time ago and assign to this text view to every post. So how we can calculate the time ago? So open your browser and search here time ago Android. You can get many links. So I will open the first link. As you can see here, there are lots of methods are available to calculate the time ago. So I will choose any of them. Let's say I select this one. I will copy the link for the code and open over post where we have load the post. You can see here. Here we have assigned the date and time to our text view. So we will remove this one. So here we will create calculate time ago method. So first we will create variable string time ago calculate time ago and in this method we will pass over date and time that we have read from the firebase database so model dot get date post and here we will create this method inside over this activity okay now here we will paste the code so i will open my browser and copy this code and here we will paste that code so we have to use same format that we have used in the previous videos while adding the post. So I will open add post method here. You can see here is add post method here. We have stored the date while adding the post. So I will copy this pattern. So now I will paste that pattern here. Okay. Now this remove hard code values and we will use date from over Firebase database. You can see here and here we will return over time ago after calculating the time ago so here simply pass ago and add inverted commas because we have to convert it into string if over date is not calculated then we have to simply return null so i will return null okay now we need to remove this method there is no need of this method Okay, now our calculate time ago is completed. So now we have to assign the time ago to our text view. So holder dot time ago dot set text. And here we will simply pass the time ago. So I will run the application again and let's see it's assigned to our text view or not. Okay, here you can see over 23 hours ago, you can see here time showing. Yeah, here you can see 12 minutes ago. So let's add new post. Let's say I select this picture. And here we can say updated picture. And click on this upload post and let's see. Okay, one new post added okay scroll down and here you can see zero minute ago so this is over updated post you can see here so over time ago is successfully working so if you have any question related to this topic you can ask me in the comment section please give me your suggestion i will create new videos so please like my video share my video and subscribe my channel see you in next video take care